Hey, hey, hey! What is shaking YouTube? Really excited today because in this very box, oh, it's quite heavy. I got 48 bottles of hot sauce made custom for me by my uncle, Kurt. So my uncle, he owns the company Denzel's Gourmet Foods, which was my grandfather and actually his first name, although we call him Uncle for Kurt. It's a long story. And also owns Grinrod Garlic Company. Now he is all over Canada. You can get his hot sauces in the stores, but these are just to me. These are the only ones ever made, and let's check them out. So very excited about this. So thank you so much. Uh, you really didn't have to do this. Uh, it's super unique. So shout out to my Uncle Kurt. He's the man, and I'm quite excited here. Okay, so these are all hand-numbered, um, 1 through 48. I'm going to sign them. I'm going to send some out to other YouTubers that do hot sauce stuff as promotion. And then I'm also probably going to sell some either through here on my YouTube or on my eBay page. But uh, I'll keep you guys all in the know with that. So here we got an invoice, so I'm not going to show you because it has both our addresses on it. And then oh, I got four of these. So there's 12 in each box. Let's open up a box. And we will be trying some here too. All right, let's just take a random one out here. And as you can see, we got the hot dog logo. It says, hot diggity. Let's uh, get the camera to focus on there. Jalokia hot sauce. So do you don't know Jalokia is the is like a ghost pepper. It's a scientific name for a ghost pepper. And he got these straight, uh, organically grown uh, Jalokia mash. The mash is how you buy this when you make peppers. Um, but yeah, the ingredients are really simple. Onions, vinegar, Peppers, and the only peppers are Jalokia peppers, garlic, and salt, and spices. That's it. Okay, and it's got all the info here if you want to take a quick browse of that. Once again, uh, and here, let me read this on the side, but there's his logo. And then he left room for me to sign these, so I'll be signing them. This one is 5 of 48, as you can see right there. Okay, and then on the side here it says, Made by Denzel Sandberg. Um, P.O. Box... 398 Enderby, British Columbia. Um, it says, made in Canada from domestic and imported ingredients. And then it's all in French. Refrigerate after opening, shake well before use. Then on the bottom it has YouTube, Dylan Kowalski, as well as my Instagram, Hot Diggity 86 So this is number number five. Ooh, so this might be the box that has one through, there's a 10. Number seven. Number four, number one. This one's gonna go on my shelf. Not gonna get rid of that, gonna keep that forever. Um, but for the hell of it, let's open up. Yeah, let's open up number five. It was the first one I grabbed. And let's try this first. We are gonna try some just straight up. And then I also got a chicken finger here <laughs> from Popeyes down the, sto down the, down the street, so first. Okay, so the consistency, if you can see in the bottle there, it's not extremely thin like, you know, like you would like a, like a Louisiana hot sauce or something, but it is still a vinegar-based hot sauce. Now, maybe I should shake it. Let's give it a good shake just to be safe. All right. Okay, because there is still chunks in it. He does make it rustic style, which I really enjoy. Um, I'm going to start off just trying a little, just trying a little right there. Mmm. Okay. So if you never had ghost peppers, ghost peppers are probably the hottest pepper that still tastes really good. Like these taste awesome. A lot of back of the throat heat, but really, really good. So we are going to do this thing up real nice, real nice like, and we're going to try it on something. Okay, definitely hot. Hot diggity, that is. But not where it's like uh, crazy impossible hot. Like, I'm definitely already starting to feel a little sweat. But this is delicious. Heat level, she hits got all the way up. And all his hot sauces are awesome. I really like the pineapple punch. Um, he's got a peaches and scream one. Most of his are habanero based. But occasionally he does get crazy, get out in ghost peppers or Carolina Reapers or whatever. We were thinking about making it Carolina Reaper. Carolina Reapers taste like crap, though. They, they're hot as hell. 
and they don't taste good. Like this is really hot. Not hot as Carolina Reaper, but it has a great taste to it. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, so ghost peppers do a great job at um, complementing your flavors with a lot of heat and a little bit of um, kind of like sweeter citrusy undertones. But it doesn't just blast you with heat when you don't taste the food, actually. So these are actually awesome. So whether you're somebody that's a hot sauce, a hot sauce enthusiast and you want a limited edition hot sauce that you just can't get, or if you want to have a, you know, a piece of history, the only hot sauce ever made for my channel, uh, made by a family member, and this is a one-time thing. We're never going to do this again. So I got, I'm going to give some of these away to my family members, and then the rest I'm going to do use for promotional uh, things and stuff. So shout out to my uncle. This is freaking awesome. I can't even believe that not only is there my name on it, the logo and everything. And if you guys were wondering why I always have hot diggity for everything, when I was 18, I got a hot dog tattoo, as you can see. And a bunch of my friends just started calling me hot dog or hot diggity or diggity or all sorts of stupid names they were all calling me. Um, so when I made my Instagram when I was like 20, I, it was hot diggity. And then everything's been hot diggity ever since. My PlayStation, ever since PlayStation 2, my username has been hot diggity. No numbers, nothing. I was the first person to ever pick it. So, you're wondering where the hot diggity came from? Uh, that's where it came from. And um, absolutely loving this. So, um, my uncle Kurt, thank you so much if you're watching this. Uh, I, I got to find a way to show you my gratitude because this is just the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. All you guys watching, uh, if you want to know more info about how to get these, let me know in, in the comments below. I'll get, I'll get back to you. And uh, I'll be doing something in the future, announcing something. Check out my Facebook page. Stay posted everywhere. If you're looking to get one of these, um, maybe we'll do a giveaway with some. Maybe I'll be selling some. But there'll be a way, one way or another, where you can get one. So once again, one more shot of the bottle. Looks absolutely incredible. I will be sending one out to Brian Ames. So stay tuned to his channel. Hopefully he uh, unboxes it and checks it out on his channel. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate everything, whether you believe it or not, and I'll see you later.